Hello, my name's Andrea and I'm a continence advisor and I work with people who have bladder or bowel control problems or with the people who care for them. In this part of our learning series, we'll be looking at how to manage urodomes, catheters and associated drainage bags. What is a urodome? Urodomes are also known as condom catheters or external urinary sheaths and these are designed for males who have moderate to heavy urinary incontinence, have reduced mobility or need to go to the toilet often. How is a urodome applied? You put the urodome on the penis like a condom and then the urine drains directly into a drainage bag which is attached to the urodome. The urodome is kept in place with a skin-friendly adhesive which sticks to the skin as the sheath is unrolled onto the penis or a tape can be applied and wrapped around the penis. Once the urodome is in place, hold on to the urodome for a few minutes just to enable the adhesive to work. Does one size fit all? Urodomes come in different sizes, diameters and length. Your local district nurse or conference advisor will be able to measure you up for the right urodome size. When applying a urodome, it's useful for the gentleman to be sitting on the edge of a chair or bed to apply the sheath. Another trick to help applying a sheath is to take a card or a piece of paper and cut a hole in the card about the same diameter as the penis. Place the penis through that hole and this keeps the pubic hairs out of the way and provides a good base to apply the urodome. Once the urodome is on and unrolled the length of the penis, you can remove that card or paper and connect it directly to the urinary drainage bag. How long does a urodome last? A urodome can remain in place for 24 hours and is simply unrolled off the penis. The used urodome can then be placed in a plastic bag and disposed of in household rubbish. What's a urinary catheter? A urinary catheter is a tube inserted into the bladder via the bladder outlet or the urethra or a catheter can also be inserted into the tummy or lower abdomen and this is referred to as a suprapubic catheter. The catheter is kept in place by a balloon filled with water to stop it from falling out. How long can a urinary catheter stay in place? Catheters can remain in place for a short period, a few days or for several weeks before they need to be changed. What do urodomes and catheters have in common? Both the urodome and indwelling urethral or suprapubic catheter empty directly into a urinary drainage bag or leg bag. Some bags can be worn strapped to the lower leg or upper thigh and, as I said, are referred to as leg bags. These bags have a capacity of 600 mils with drainage outlets at the bottom of the bag. There are a variety of drainage outlet taps some of these are easier to open than others, particularly for those who have a limited hand function. Talk to your local district nurse or conscious advisor who can show you some of the other outlet tap types. How often should I empty the bag? Leg bag should be emptied every three to four hours or when it is three quarters full. The leg bag can be emptied via the bottom outlet directly into the toilet or into a container specifically set aside for that purpose. If emptying into a container, always hold it at an angle so that a head or froth or bubbles does not form because those bubbles can burst and increase the risk of infection. Wipe the end of the outlet when a tissue when the bag has drained. Also, check that the drainage bag is well supported on the leg and is kept lower than the level of the bladder. Regularly check that it is draining and that the tubing is not kinked. When would you break the connection between the catheter and the bag? When a urethra or suprapubic catheter is inserted and attached to a leg bag, the connection between the catheter and the leg bag is not broken unless the bag is due to be changed or the bag is damaged or faulty. Is there anything you can use instead of a leg bag? People using a urinary catheter bag may well find that a urinary catheter valve is more suitable. This valve is connected directly to the catheter and the tap on the valve is released every three to four hours or when the bladder is full. At night the valve is connected directly to a night bag. This product is useful with people with good hand function and bladder function. Talk to your health professional to see whether this is an option for the person you're working with. What happens at night? At night a larger capacity bag can be connected to the bottom of the night bag. 
Open the bottom outlet of the lead bag and urine can drain directly into the larger capacity bag. It's also an idea to place this night bag into a container upon the floor in case of accidental leaks. In the morning, close the leg bag outlet, remove the night bag from the leg bag connection and empty the night bag directly into the toilet or a container specifically set aside for that purpose. And remember, when using a container, to hold it at an angle. Once the bag is emptied, wipe the outlet with a tissue. At home, night bags may be washed in soapy water and dried and reused for the next evening. These bags may be changed weekly or two weekly depending on your local area policy. Where do I get replacement catheters and bags? A supply of catheters, leg bags and night bags may be provided by your local district health board or ACC. Always ensure that you have a spare catheter and other supplies in case of unplanned catheter changes. What other catheter care is important? Each day, wash around the urethra and the catheter with soap and water, wiping away from the body to reduce risks of infection. Uncircumcised men should pull back their foreskin when washing and return it to its resting position when finished. It's also important to wash that area after each bowel motion. We recommend a shower rather than a bath and to leave the leg back in place whilst in the shower, towel drying it afterwards. Don't use talcum powder or creams in that area unless it's been prescribed by your doctor. Encourage a good fluid intake to keep the catheter draining freely and the person with a catheter should aim to drink between 30 ml of fluid for every kilogram of weight or pass 1.5 to 2 litres of fluid output a day. A regular soft bowel habit is also important. What about catheters and intimacy? When having sexual intercourse for people with urethral catheters, both parties should wash their genital areas before and after. Women with a catheter can bring the catheter forward onto their thigh and tape it out of the way. Men with a catheter can fold the catheter down the erect penis, apply a condom and use plenty of water-based soluble lubricant such as KY jelly. If your catheter is causing you problems during sexual intercourse, discuss this with your doctor or nurse. What sorts of problems am I likely to encounter? Common problems with a catheter include discomfort, infection, bleeding, blockage and leakage around the catheter. But infection is the most significant issue and the longer a catheter is in place, the more likely an infection. If a person starts showing a sign of infection, they should be treated as soon as possible. What are the signs of infection? Signs of an infection include at least two of the following. Fever of more than 38 degrees or chills, new or increased burning pain, new pain or tenderness in the lower tummy or abdomen and flank, change in the colour and smell of the urine or a person showing signs of confusion. As soon as you have any concerns, contact your health professional to arrange a urine test and possible catheter change and antibiotic treatment. What's the best way to control infection? The number one infection control measure you can take for the person you're caring for and yourself is hand washing. You need to wash your hands frequently using a liquid soap or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer gel. Wash your hands before and after any hands-on contact with body fluids such as urine or bowel motions. It's also a good idea to wash your hands after taking off gloves, before eating or preparing food and after going to the toilet. Make sure your hands are thoroughly dry before you start any task. I hope this segment of our Managing Continence at Home series has been useful. If you have any questions, please ring the National Continence Association helpline Monday through to Friday during business hours on 0800 650 659. Thank you for joining us at Caring at Home.